There are about 60 million Christians who are eligible to vote, but people would be shocked to know that about half of them are not registered and are not voting. Hello, I'm Tony Perkins, President of the Family Research Council here in Washington, D.C., and I want to thank you for joining us for this special program entitled 100 Days to Impact the Nation. This November, voters will go to the polls and determine the future course of America. In a republic such as ours, every election is important, but this November's election is critical. The policies of the current administration show a complete disregard for the sanctity of human life. The mission of our military has been transformed from defending our nation to advancing this administration's radical social policies. Government spending has soared, bringing our nation to a point of having nearly $16 trillion of debt. But the greatest threat, impacting almost every aspect of our lives, is the growing number of attacks on religious freedom. It has never been more important that Bible-believing Christians be praying, become prepared, and then participate in the process. The United States remains the greatest country in the world, but we desperately need a change of course, and we need to return to our founding principles, principles that come from the Christian faith. Pastors and churches are concerned, but as often they are often they're unaware of what they can actually do to influence the outcome of an election. Well, today's program is the first step to prepare you with the tools and the information you need so that you can participate and make a difference over the next 100 days. Over the last year, uh, FRC has been traveling the country with our values bus. Our team has been taking the message, your money, your values, your vote to communities all across America. And FRC is registering Christians at churches and activists at Tea Party rallies, giving them the tools to register others and to equip them to make a difference too. Our goal is to see 400,000 new values-oriented voters registered and voting. Now it's true, we've got a lot of hard work to do and many more miles to go to get there. But with your help, we can get there. Now it's important to remember as everybody will tell you, every vote does count, and your vote especially. Now, let's get to work and see what we can do over the next 100 days to make an impact on this nation. Our first guest today is Tom McCluskey. He's the Senior Vice President of FRC Action. Tom is here to talk about FRC's 100 Day to Impact the Nation project and how you can make a difference in the upcoming elections. Tom, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me on. Well, Tom, let's talk about Let's jump right into this. Not a lot of time here. This is a fairly short uh, special webcast today. But uh, obviously, as I've stated in setting this up, the presidential elections are important. All of them are important. This one is especially important. What makes this one so unique, uniquely important? I think what we've seen, and I've been in D.C., what some would say is too long, including my wife, uh, for over 20 years. And uh, we've seen more now than ever that this administration really doesn't care about the other uh, parts of government. They're willing to use uh, the different administration tools at their disposal, being changing regulations, any of the departments, like the Department of HHS has more power now than it's ever had in its history, using those to further their agenda because they know they can't get anything through legislatively. Now, we are launching the 1st of July. The values, uh, the I Vote Values effort is a part of that, is the 100 days to impact the nation. Tell, tell our viewers a little bit about what, to, uh, what, what is in, involved in this and how they can become a part of it. Well, most people who know, know me know that I'm on an eternal quest to make my job easier. And to do that, we need to elect uh, good conservatives at all levels of government. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do is that too often the people we're sitting next to in the pews are not exercising their right to vote. You know they care about the issues. They're, they're sitting next to you and worshiping God in the same house as you, yet they aren't 
taking that step to be good citizens by voting. So what we're doing, we're traveling the nation on the bus, and we're also on the web at ivotevalues.org to not only make sure that you're registered, but we're challenging you. Register four of your friends, and then get them to register four of their friends. And so that, that makes a difference. That multiplies. Oh, without a doubt, every single vote counts. There are, throughout history, especially American history, we are shown again and again how every vote counts. And well, we, we're, this is going to be a very, uh, r very fast run through a lot of issues here in the next 25 minutes. And uh, so I know you're going to come back and give us some specific action steps toward the end of the broadcast today. But as our viewers watch this, what should they keep in mind over the next 25 minutes? Well, one, that rest assured I'm coming back. Um, but two, take notes. Understand that this is going to be archived on our website. So if you don't catch something, watch it again. And if you want, we'll, we'll be giving you segments of it. Share it with your church, share it with your friends, share it with your different organizations um, that you might be, be it the Knights of Columbus or your prayer group or anybody else. All right, Tom, we, uh, we'll, we'll have you back here in just a few moments as we wrap this up. Uh, we'll be talking about those specific action steps that you can take. There are about 60 million Christians who are eligible to vote, but people would be shocked to know that about half of them are not registered and are not voting.